Hey folks, Brittany Heller here with HeatSpring to talk to you about the NABCEP PV Installation Professional Certification. This certification is known as the gold standard in the solar industry. It is notoriously difficult and challenging and hard to get. So when you get this certification, it really does mean something in the industry. Despite being the NABCEP or the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners, this certification is recognized worldwide. And in fact, we have students in our NABCEP classes from all over the world who are getting this certification for various reasons, um, but they see the importance and there's not a lot of options when it comes to certifications in the solar industry. I got my NABCEP PVIP back in 2017, so I can definitely speak to this from my own experience and my experience of somebody who works at HeatSpring and answers these questions day in and day out. So let's get started talking about it. The NABCEP PVIP is intended for folks who have worked in the solar industry as an installer for a while. It is required that you have documented experience to be eligible for the exam. And despite being called installation professional, people who have the certification might have various roles or titles within the industry. This certification covers everything from design, installation, commissioning and operations and maintenance as well. So doesn't necessarily mean you have to be an installer currently to sit for the exam, but ultimately you must be in a decision-making role on solar installations. So let's get started talking a little bit more about the requirements to get the certification, to take the exam even. And there's really three core requirements. The first is having OSHA 10. So that is a standard construction industry certification. It's a great thing to have that talks about hazard recognition on solar sites, or sorry, construction sites in general, but there's a lot on solar sites, as you know. Uh, in addition to OSHA 10, which never um, expires, by the way. Once you get that certification, you are good to go. After that, you need to have 58 hours of advanced training. And this training needs to be approved by NABCEP and listed in their NABCEP course catalog. HeatSpring offers tons and tons of options when it comes to preparing for the PVIP exam and other NABCEP certification exams as well, as well as other certification exams beyond NABCEP. Um, but it's really important to get that 58 hours and that training must be done within five years of you submitting that application. And the final requirement is you have to have been in a decision-making role on a certain number of installs that have happened within two years of your application date. And there's not a set number of installs that you need because it depends on the size of the install. So installations that are one kilowatt to 999 kilowatts count as two project credits. And if it is one megawatt or above, that counts as three project credits. And you must have six project credits in total in a decision-making role to be eligible for this exam. How do you prove it? You have to submit a permit for your installation as well as a past inspection document. And that would need to come from your local authority having jurisdiction. If your name is not listed on that permit or inspection document, then you will also need to have a letter on your company's letterhead that says you were in a decision-making role, here's how, and signed by the leadership of your company. There can be different exceptions um, to the documentation, but that is generally what is required. If you have any questions about that, it's best to reach out directly to NABCEP at info at NABCEP.org. The PVIP exam is written by volunteer subject matter experts who are under the guidance of testing specialists. This group of volunteers creates a job task analysis, and this is essentially a, br a blueprint for the exam. So always great if you're studying for an exam that you check out that job task analysis and make sure you really feel good about all those different topic areas that are gonna be covered. Here you can see what's the main domains of a NABCEP PVIP exam. So how much does it cost to take the exam? The exam itself essentially is $500. There's a $125 application fee and then a $375 
exam fee. In the event that you don't pass the exam in your first shot, which a lot of people don't pass the first time, it's okay. Um, that retake fee is going to be an additional $275. So definitely make sure you are studying, doing practice exams, practice questions. We've got a ton on heat spring before you sit for that exam. And what can you expect when it comes to taking the exam? Right now, you can take the exam at either a measure learning testing center. So there's a whole list online of where those testing centers are. Or you could do live remote proctoring. and Live remote proctoring is something that can happen from your home computer or your office, as long as you have a webcam and a microphone, uh, and somebody will watch you take the whole exam. The exam itself is a total of four hours, and it's a 70-question multiple-choice test. Of those 70 questions, 60 are actually scored, while 10 are considered more pilot questions where they're checking statistically if they're good questions or not before they evaluate you on them. So a total scaled score is used to determine if a candidate passes or fails the exam. And that score is 0 to 99. A score of 70 means that you passed and you are now a certified PBIP person. Does your certification last forever? It does not. You have to renew these every three years. And to submit for renewal, you have to show that you have continued to have industry involvement, as well as 30 hours of continuing education. HeatSpray offers tons of options when it comes to continuing education. So if you ever have questions about that, don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's all I got on the NABSEP PVIP. If you have any questions, reach out to us at nabsep at heatspring.com. And I'll see you in class.